executive director uh, of Kajasad Sadak, and I'm responsible for implementing all board decisions and guiding the secretariat. The COVID-19 uh, pandemic has actually paralyzed our operations because we're an organization that reaches out. We have an outreach program through our various programs, like the Accra program, the APSA program, and the Karapet People program. All of those are out in the field. As much as work based in Aboron, but our work is in the field. So the, the lack of movement has actually hampered our operations. From a Kardesa perspective, uh, some observed impacts or influences that the pandemic has actually uh, confronted us with. The political landscape is evolving abruptly. There are uh, COVID regulations uh, which are made outside the normal policy making process. Uh, the institutional functioning and te technical capacities are compromised. There are some drastic economic impacts in terms of pro agriculture production, trade, markets, and finance in the region. Uh, we've, got, we, we've seen some unparalleled social impacts, unsustainable livelihoods, including health crisis. Farmers are falling sick, some are, farmers are incapacitated. Uh, research and extension programs have, have been derailed. Uh, progress in most cases have been actually derailed. Cardesa is in the process of uh, actually launching a massive project on digitalization of agriculture. This is a project that you are doing in, uh, in collaboration with the World Bank. And it's going to be a regional program. It's going to make sure that we introduce e-extension, e-commerce, uh, all those digital uh, platforms are going to be in place so that going forward with the Industrial Revolution, we are ready. And in, in times of pandemics, we normally have some, plan, some ways to mitigate. I think SADAC should actually work on, I think SADAC should look at the capacity gap assessments for digitalization of agriculture and then embark on a, on a multi-stakeholder consultation a drive to actually come up with a development plan for improving the capacities of all stakeholders, including farmers, the academia, the ministries responsible, uh, for of agriculture and food security, uh, also non-governmental organizations who have been a driving force in agriculture development in the region. What uh, I think, what I can start with is to say, Cadesa as a sub-regional organization has, is strengthening public-private partnerships. Uh, we are also strengthening co effective communication links between researchers and extensionists uh, and, and, and farmers. We are also looking at increasing the capacity of farmers and extension officers in the use of, ex of e-extension platforms. We also promote the use of simple community-friendly e-systems. We are also trying to spare the establishment of effective farmer feedback mechanism uh, through our extension uh, people on the ground. Because Cardesa works with all the SADAC member states and our entry point is the Ministry of Agriculture. They you, you find extension, which is in the, at the forefront. We also work with research organizations within the countries. So we're also trying to, to, to strengthen as much as possible our presence. We have got the people who are on the ground in all the countries who are responsible for assisting us in, in improving the, 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 the use of digital innovation in ICT with an aim of actually transforming the agriculture sector in the new era. CADESA as an organization has actually tailored the World Health Organization procedures and uh, precautionary measures and we are actually disseminating the information to all our stakeholders. As I said, CADESA works with other sub-regional organizations. We work with ministries of agriculture, then we work with departments of extension, we work with the, the research uh, divisions in the countries. We also, through the ministries, we also work with the other international development organizations. Uh, for example, World Vision International. First of all, CADESA has actually embraced uh, work for uh, staff to work from home. 
unless it is extremely necessary to come to the office. Then we also embrace social distancing, at least two meters. The wearing of masks is mandatory at Kades. We also try to preach the same gospel to our, our partners and stakeholders. Basically, it's wearing masks, mandatory, social distancing, mandatory, traveling should be limited, and working from home is the preferred option under the circumstances. So Kadesa, as a sub-regional organization, which was established by member states, is open to welcoming all people who are interested in our mission. Because our mission is just to, why, why partnership building institution? We bring together diverse stakeholders with the common vision of promoting and enhancing agriculture research and development. In the quest to enhance collaboration in the fight against the pandemic, Cadesa has developed a universe or a grid of all existing partners and potential partners that we will be working with in order for us to actually fast track in mitigating the pandemic into the future. We look forward to working with all our partners in all the SADAC member states and beyond in this endeavor.